guys, welcome back to Blue Dragon RPG. My name is John, and today I'm going to talk about the 3.5 basic game. So this is everything you need to start playing the Dungeons & Dragons role-playing game. Uh, easy to set up and play, contains 16 painted miniatures, which was awesome uh, when this set came out. Sorry for that loud dice noise. Yeah, when this set came out, which, I, you know, I can't remember what it retailed for, and it's actually not printed here. Uh, so, let me see. If it's like the other set, well, that doesn't have the uh, price either. So, I don't know. Uh, I forget. It's been forever. <laughs> it's literally been forever since this came out, and I can't be expected to remember those types of things. So this came out in 2004. Uh, this is not the only set like this, though. So actually, this is the set that has the Black Dragon on the cover. But the first one I actually bought was this basic game with the Blue Dragon on the cover. And then later on I found this and picked this up. So not sure all the differences. This one obviously was the, the later one. Um, but yeah, I'll go over that one in a separate video. I just wanted to kind of show you a little side-by-side -side comparison. So let's bust this thing open real quick. Well, let's look at the back. Um, so yeah, enter a world of adventure and imagination. Become a hero. Take on the role of a fierce warrior, a mighty sorcerer, a powerful cleric, or a stealthy rogue, and embark on a heroic quest. Brave the unknown. Explore tre treacherous dungeons, battle terrifying monsters, and discover wondrous treasures. And bring your friends. Together with your bold companions, uh, prove you've got what it takes to face the risks and collect the rewards in the greatest fantasy role-playing game of all time. So, this set definitely... You get your money's worth. Uh, however much money this was, trust me, it was absolutely worth it. Because you get 16 fully painted miniatures, 4 heroes, and 12 monsters. And these are from the D&D mini line. So you get 4 double-sided map tiles, which are uh, pretty much similar to the cardstock used in the dungeon tiles. So you can use those in conjunction with these. That's... I did that quite a few times. Um, it comes with the seven dice, the four character sheets, quick start rules, first adventure book, and the advanced rule book. So you really got a lot of stuff in this box set, and I wish that they would do box sets like this nowadays. Um, so let's take a minute and bust this open. All right, so... Starting off, we've got the dice. So these are just a set of basic dice. Not Nothing special about that. So I always try to keep my stuff organized, but we'll bust these out and go through these minis. First of all, each of the minis came with, uh, well, there's like a sheet of cards and you could take these apart. So each mini came with their monster cards. These might look familiar if you're familiar with the D&D miniature line from back in the day. They came with uh, stat cards. So first up, we've got a couple of these. Uh, skeletons. Let's see. These are called warrior skeletons. So we got two of those. The only thing I didn't like about these is they always leaned forward a lot, which I found just a bit annoying. <laughs> uh, let's see. We've got this wolf skeleton. So kind of neat. This chain is actually loose on here and like moves around so it's kind of a cool figure we got so this is uh aramil the adventurer so uh, 
that's cool. Then we've got a dire rat. Yep. Nothing like a good old dire rat. This is another adventure. This is Lita. So she is the rogue. Not too bad. This is a cobalt sharp skirmisher. Cobalt skirmisher. So yeah, these are these all came with the set, which is you know back in the day. That was awesome because you could pick up 16 minis for pretty decent price. This is a Cobalt Warrior. Actually has two Cobalt Warriors. Oh, and there is a uh, second Cobalt Skirmisher. So you got you get quite a quite a bit of Cobalts uh, for an army. This is a Troglodyte. So nice little Troglodyte figure there. This is uh, Regdar, the adventurer. So he is the human fighter. Not the best paint job there on the face. <laughs> uh, this is Eberk. So this was the dwarf cleric. I'm pretty sure he was a cleric. If I remember correctly. And then we've got two orc warriors. Nice. And my always my favorite piece from this set, the Black Dragon. So this tail, super long. Gotta love the... It looks like he's going to attack. This was always one of my favorite pieces from this set. So, not, not a super big dragon. He, yeah. He, but also, pretty cool looking figure. Alright, so it came with the first adventure book. It says players don't read this book. They read their character sheets. Only the dungeon master reads this book. So yeah, stay out if you're not the DM. Uh, and then it tells you how to set up, you know. So you use the dungeon tiles. And then this kind of coincides with the dungeon tiles. Tells you where to how to set everything up and the story to tell and helps you take your players through the game. And then here's the quick start rules. Read your character sheets before reading the quick start rules. So this just kind of helped combat basics, initiative, what can I do in combat, moving, attacking, uh, rules for dying more combat actions uh, so casting a spell and it goes into tactics you know shooting in a fight corners flanking so line of sight stuff uh, and then rule summary so awesome and then here's the advanced rule book kind of similar to what we had with the third edition set Only this is for 3.5. All right, well, there you have it. This is a 3.5 product. Before we move on, I'm going to just throw these back in here. All right. So there's the core rule book. I guess I had this in here all crazy. So this is the read this first sheet. character special abilities and then here are the pre-gen characters so we got human fighter regdar dwarf cleric uh, eberk elf sorcerer aramil halfling rogue L lita I, I always almost say lydia i don't know why so yeah you only got four characters with this one but, you know, that's not horrible. And then here are the tiles. So these are all double-sided. So you ended up with quite a good size dungeon, to be honest, 
I like this room with all the fungus and this crashed up room, you know, with all these fallen pillars and stones. So, pretty cool. If this, if anyone had used this set as their like first time playing D&D, it'd be quite an awesome experience for the first time playing, I think. So, well, there you have it. There is the three, first 3.5 um, set that was released. So, all right. Well, if you enjoyed this video, I'm going to be doing uh, another video on the second basic game that came out during the 3.5 days. That one has, the, like I said, the blue dragon on it. And I think that one is actually my favorite of the two, not just because it's a blue dragon, <laughs> uh, but for other reasons that I'll get into when we go over that video. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, all your support is, is always appreciated, and I value it a lot. I also value your comments and opinions, so please talk to me down below. I love interacting with people. Um, I would appreciate a like and a sub if you're not subbed, uh, because that, you know, helps me out with the algorithm and all that, uh, however that works. <laughs> I don't think anyone quite knows what YouTube's doing from time to time, but, uh, so yeah, I will see you all in the next video. I hope you guys are having a great day. Bye.